Cloning is where we start and cleaning is one of the areas where a lot of new brewers fall over. If you don't have really solid cleaning techniques and practices, your beer is going to suffer. I recommend using something like powdered brewery wash or PPW which is pretty much the home brew standard for cleaning. Combined with a really solid sanitation process, this is going to give you the edge. I use this at a ratio of one tablespoon per gallon or four litres of hot water. Today I'm going to use this to clean my brewing area and my equipment. So I'm going to mix up half a tablespoon of PPW with half a gallon or two litres of hot water in a bucket. I'll use this solution to clean everything down. One of the things I seriously recommend when cleaning and brewing full stop is to wear gloves. Some of these cleaners and sanitizers you don't want on your skin. They can cause some irritations. The other reason why you wear gloves is that your hands, while you no doubt clean them, they've got microbes uh, under your fingernails and, and in cracked skin. And this gives it a point of infection for your beers. So always wear gloves. Uh, you can spray these with your sanitizer and make sure they're all really clean and, and not going to cause any problems. The other thing I really recommend is use a soft cloth just for brewing. Never use a harsh pad or a scourer. Clean everything that comes in contact with your beer. So clean every square inch of your fermenter. Clean all little nooks and crannies in your, your taps, uh, your spoons, your threads, anything like that. If you push for time, you can, uh, you can clean your gear and sanitise it the day before. Just make sure that it's all sealed up. So you, you clean your fermenter, you can put all your bits and pieces in your fermenter and just seal it up with some plastic wrap uh, like I'm doing today. 